So you're considering making a move to Tampa, Florida, and you're wondering what is the best area for you? Well, in today's video, we're going to cover the landscape of Tampa, Florida, because a lot of the times, you know, we don't know what we don't know. And in today's video, my, my goal here is to explain all of Tampa, demystify the geography, how the areas live, how they could best suit you, and maybe the areas that you want to focus on if you're considering making that move. If this is your first time to the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate professional and a team leader here with the True Living Group. And we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area. And hey, however you got to get a hold of us, whether that's through phone call, text message, email, DM, I even put my calendar link down below. Just know that when it comes to making that move, if you have any questions in regarding to the area, just please feel free to reach out. You can schedule a time that works best for you through that calendar link as well. Also, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell. That way you can be notified every time we drop a new video just like this. And feel free to share this with someone who you know is considering making a move to the area. Area also would love to ha get any comments you want put them down below I answer those directly um, I don't have a bot or an assistant that answers those questions um, you're gonna get me my honest feedback in my opinion through those conversations as well but I wanted to share that with you guys and I want to get right into today's video because one of the things that I know when I was making this move in 2018 is I didn't quite understand the landscape I knew the area a little bit you know from a layman's term and we had visited a few times and it helped us make our decision but the one thing that I didn't have was perspective, right? I didn't know to the north of Tampa was the suburbs, you know, and, and that the beaches, you know, had were their own thing and that downtown Tampa was its own vibe and South Tampa is its own. I had no idea, right? And I didn't, there weren't videos like this at the time that were really breaking that down. So I went on the hunt, like I think most people do. And we start typing away on Dr. Google of like, hey, what's the best area to live in? And I've made videos on what I believe are the best areas to live in on the area. You can find the link up here in the card, you know, hum through the channel, you'll find it there. But what I wanted to do today is give some insights on geography, because typically how these conversations begin, someone will reach out to me, you know, through phone call or text message or however they get hold of this normally. And they'll say, hey, I'm really looking at making a move to Tampa. And it's like, awesome. We'll schedule a phone call. We'll, we'll jump on a call together. We'll jump on a Zoom call is typically how, how we work with clients. Um, that's the easiest way for us to, to help gain, give them perspective quickly. Um, we'll jump on a Zoom call and they'll start with, hey, we really want to live in Tampa. And then as I dig into what type of lifestyle they want, we find out very quickly that it's not actually Tampa proper they want to live in. Maybe it's the beaches or maybe they wanted to live in a real, you know, suburban type of neighborhood. Um, or, you know, maybe they haven't made a decision on Tampa. A lot of the times I'll get phone calls. I would say it's probably 50%. Now this is completely anecdotal. <laughs> I haven't tracked it and I should, but the way that it feels is I would say half of the people that call me start with, Hey, we're considering moving to Florida. We were thinking Tampa, uh, Sarasota and Naples. Like that's a lot of the phone conversations that I get. And while those are all beautiful areas unto themselves, they are all entirely different, number one. And number two, um, what, what happens is, you know, when we start on the northern side of Tampa to drive all the way to Naples, we're talking about three and a half hours away. And I share that with you because the thing that I would encourage you to do is, you know, find a professional that services the area that you're actually looking in. And if you don't know yet, reach out to us. We're more than happy to have those conversations about how those areas live, right? And that way, when you come into town and you're trying to figure out, hey, do, is this a place where I want to own a second home? Or is this where we want to call our primary residence? Do I want to raise my family here? Or is this a good environment for me as a sing young working professional, right? You know, these are the questions that you need to have answered but also you know i can't speak to the neighborhoods in naples right if you call me and you say hey Juan, i'm considering tampa but i'm probably going to end up in naples or naples is on my heart too what i'm going to do is i'm going to refer you to my agent partner um 
partners and we have agent partners all over the state of Florida and the United States as well, y'all. Um, so do not hesitate to reach out to me to get connected anywhere in the country, but I'm gonna connect you to one of those agent partners. And the reason being is because you wanna be served by the person who has the best insights on the area where you're trying to live, right? I can sell real estate anywhere in the state of Florida, but I don't, we sell in Tampa. We, <laughs> we sell in Tampa Bay and I don't go outside of uh, outside of my area of expertise because I wouldn't be serving you at the highest and best. And the reason why I think that's important to share with you is because if you're considering making this move or investing in the area or you know selling a home in the area, you wanna have someone who has a local understanding of what's happening. Do they know about the developments that are going into X city, right? Um, we just did this. Uh, Clearwater has, has a vote up for a $400 million development which is going to bring a lot of commerce and a lot of opportunity to downtown Clearwater. Now, if I was a Naples agent, would I know that? Most likely not, right? You know, we and, and it's important for you to kind of just wrap your mind around, like, how can I be best served through this process? So I would encourage you to, to make sure that you're connecting with a local professional. Again, if you don't know anybody in those areas, please feel free to reach out to us. I will connect you to a very good real estate professional that can give you perspective, that's there to be a guide and not to sell you things. And I hope that you receive that message. If you've been watching our channel for any period of time, you know that I've become passionate about sharing back my city because I didn't have anybody to help me through this journey and I wanna be as helpful as possible. And it does help us connect with people who we can best serve. And that's what our goal of this channel. So I just wanna be you know, as transparent as possible and share with you why I think that's important, right? Because what you wanna have access to is the person that can tell you, hey, your money might be served better elsewhere. Meaning like that might not be the best neighborhood for you based upon what you're trying to accomplish. So let's get into Tampa. Let's talk about how we're going to demystify this and forgive the long windedness there, but I cannot stress the importance of having conversations that matter to you. Okay. The thing I want to get into is Tampa's kind of broke up into sections. You hear this word Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay, you know, it includes the greater Tampa Bay area. Now, uh, according to you know our our local uh, you know government, the Greater Tampa Bay area makes up four counties. But what I'm going to do is share the local perspective, <laughs> because the fourth county I don't really think it counts as Tampa Bay. Uh, I mean, you can kind of lump it in there if you're from California. I could see how you could do that. But when we're local, we don't we don't consider Hernando County to be part of Tampa Bay. Uh, they are, and we're not mad at anybody up there. But like, just what you know how locals talk. Where you're like, yeah, they're not part of us, or they are. I would not include Hernando County, which is well to the north, um, a good good hour and 20 minute drive, depending on where you're at, it can be as much as an hour and 50 minute drive with traffic, depending on where it is. That's not really local to Tampa. When we talk about Tampa Bay, we're gonna talk about these three counties specifically. So I wanna start with those three counties. We're gonna talk about Hillsborough County, which is where you're gonna find the city of Tampa located. We're gonna talk about Pasco County, which is the county directly to the north. And then we're also gonna talk about Pinellas County, and Pinellas County is this is the county to the west where you're going to find the Gulf Beaches. That's where you're going to find Dunedin, Clearwater Beach, Indian Rocks Beach, Madeira Beach, St. Pete Beach, all the places you know when you think of uh, Gulf Coast beaches in the Tampa Bay area. And I want to focus on the on these three counties today and kind of give some perspective from a geography perspective and from a livability perspective, because I think those are the things that you're probably looking for if you're on this channel. You know, you like you want to know how far things are away from each other. So the, the thing I would like to start with is how far are we away from other major cities in uh, in Florida? Because when you look at Florida on a map, I mean, it you can tell it's a large state, but I don't think we know exactly how large, right? If you were to take Tampa or Florida and pull it off the map and stick it on the rest of the United States, it would basically cover from Georgia all the way up to Michigan, roughly. Now that's a pretty gosh darn big state in terms of how big it is. And that's just from north to south. That doesn't include how far it is wide, right? And if you think it, <laughs> how far the panhandle goes back touching all the way to Alabama, this is a very big state. And sometimes we get lost in that. And I know that because I'll have friends that'll come into Florida and they're like, hey, we're in town. We'd love to meet up. And they'll tell us where they're at. I'm like, okay, where are you at? Like, I'd love to connect with you guys. And they're like, yeah, we're in Tallahassee. And I'm like, Tallahassee's six hours away. <laughs> That's not around the corner, right? Or they're like, we're in Orlando. And while Orlando does look close to Tampa on the map, um, and if you pull it up in the notes, if you go into Dr. Google or Google Maps right now and type in Tampa to Orlando, it'll tell you it's an hour and a half, but anybody who lives in Florida knows that that ain't true, right? 
Um, with traffic on a good day, it's probably two hours and 10 minutes. Now, if you were to go in the middle of the night or super early in the morning, you might be able to make it in that hour and a half time. But for the most part, you're gonna be looking at two hours to drive to Tampa. And if you're in Clearwater Beach and you're planning on going to um, uh, Orlando, or maybe you're in Orlando and you wanna go to Clearwater Beach, that's a two and a half, three hour drive at least so keep that in perspective you know so when you see these things it's hard it's hard to wrap your mind around like how far is something away from where i actually am okay now the other thing that you'll see is people kind of lump sarasota into tampa bay and sarasota and tampa bay are not the same thing and they neither one of those places consider themselves to be part of each other um and the irony is is you know from St. Pete, St. Petersburg, which is the southern uh, point of Tampa, to downtown Sarasota, it's like an hour, an hour and 10 minute drive. It's not far. And most of that's just because you got traffic and lights. And once you cross the um, the Skyway Bridge, which is the beautiful bridge that connects St. Pete to uh, Bradenton, um, just to the south, uh, you know, it's gorgeous. They light it up at night. It's stunning, y'all. And the bridge is huge and it's got to be big because cruise ships go underneath it. That's how tall that bridge is. It's, it, but it's an awesome thing to see. Like when you're coming from the south, if you're coming up from Sarasota and you see St. Pete, it's just a beautiful sight. You can see Tropicana Field on, uh, you know, on the right hand side and you see the Gulf of Mexico on the left and all these boats and it's just gorgeous, man. And down at the the the, the southern tip of uh, Pinellas County, and, and I know where they Going a little bit tangent here but i think it's important they're always doing kite surfing there's a kite surfing club that's down there it's just pretty cool so but i wanted to give you know uh, again an, an idea how far things are apart so if you fly into tampa airport tpa um, and you drive down to sarasota it's about an hour and 20 minute drive again you can make it in an hour depending on where you're going in sarasota about an hour and 20 minute drive from tampa to cape coral it's about three hours from tampa to naples it's about three and a half hours from, uh, from Tampa to Miami, you're talking about four and a half hours. Uh, from uh, Tampa to Jacksonville, three, three and a half hours with drive time. Um, you know, and from Tampa to Atlanta, it's about eight hours. So I want to give some general perspective on how far things are. Um, so you can kind of wrap your mind around maybe you're in town to visit and you did have Tampa on your radar as a place you might like to live. Now you can kind of gain some reference about how far it is away from that. But as we zoom back into the city here and kind of talk about, you know, how each area lives and, and, and how to categorize it, the thing I wanted to start with is like, let's talk about downtown Tampa specifically, right? Because Tampa as a whole is kind of broke up in this in the segments as well and, and i want to share that with you so downtown tampa literally uh you know has we've got beautiful skyscraper buildings this is the financial district uh you know the it's a clean city i think you really enjoy it it's not huge but it's uh what i would call tampa is a big little city uh, we've got really we got some great tall buildings but it's not like skyscraper rows and rows and rows like when when you visit chicago or new york um it, it's not built like that um um, you know, it, it's it's a good sized city, but it's nothing crazy. It's not crazy to navigate. You know, there's only a few main streets in and out of Tampa, which makes it even easier to deal with. But it's broke up into a few different segments. And you've got downtown, and that's where you'll find Emily Arena. Um, that's where you'll find uh, the, the the Tampa Center. There are museums for of science for the kids. It's like it's a really cool place. You've got Curtis Hicks and Park downtown, which is a place where we've taken our family and done family photos. It's an awesome environment. And you right behind that park, you can see the minarets that are on top of. Uh, um, University of St. Petersburg, which is really cool. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun thing to see. But you've got Tampa. And then to the southwest of that, you've got what they call South Tampa. Now, this is some of the most uh, exclusive real estate we have in the area. This is definitely the average price point goes up dramatically. You know, it's roughly eight eight hundred thousand on the low end but it's right about a million bucks to live in south tampa uh to, to get a great property down there um you know and this is this is one of those areas right so like if you're wondering you know where a majority of the the wealth lives it lives in the south tampa area here um so just to give you some perspective now as we head north we come into ybor city and the heights district which is up and coming it's beautiful you know we've talked before about ybor city and the and the development that the glazier family is working on right now it's called gas works wr 
uh, X, um, you know, and they're talking about putting mixed use spaces, you know, places where you're gonna have condos, apartments, dining, working spaces, you know, it's it, a lot of walkability, so to speak. And then to the north of that, you get into the Tampa suburbs. Now to the direct north of that, this is the, these are the areas that are, are when people say Tampa is not safe or whatever. And again, I'm not telling you they are, they aren't. Go look at a crime map, but these are the areas that, that people are referring to, okay? And it's not a, it's not a lot of real estate, but there are definitely some tougher areas, right? Um, you know, they're more economically challenged. They, they've gone through some hardships and there's no doubt about that, but that's the area that people are talking about. And when, and typically it's North Tampa is what they're talking about. Now, as we continue to travel North, you get into Pasco County. Okay. Now up in this area here, this is where the boom is occurring. And when I say boom, I mean like the suburban boom up here. This was a lot of farmland in the past. Um, you know, uh, I won't say swampland, but there's a lot of lakes in the area there. Um, it's really nice real estate, but it was underdeveloped. And, you know, because Tampa is an older city and uh, St. Petersburg, Clearwater is an older city, like it's very well established. In order to build new homes, you're going to have to tear stuff down or you have to start the suburban sprawl. And that's where we're starting to see this. So if you travel to the north, um, once you get past Lutz, L-U-T-Z, um, which is the kind of like the last city north in, in Hillsborough County, which is where Tampa is located, this whole, uh, you know, it's like a, um, it's like a line that goes directly across. So you got Le Wesley Chapel, Lutz, Lando Lakes, Trinity. Um, you know, this is all the way going back to Holiday and Port State, uh, um, Newport Ritchie, Tarpon Springs area. Like all of this area up here is where the new construction booms occurring. So you're having a lot of um, new homes being built. This is where the uh, Epperson Lagoon is up in Wesley Chapel. And they've got, uh, you know, outdoor outlets up there. They've got Crate, which is this like 90 <laughs> restaurants and shops that they put up in these shipping containers. And there's a lot of new development. There's a Costco up there, like all kinds of cool stuff. They they started with the idea of like, if we build it, they will come. And they've done, they've done a great job, right? You've got uh, dining and shopping for days. You've got sports complexes. You've got you know brand new construction development communities with with lagoons in, in the backyard. There's a seven and a half acre lagoon in, in Wesley Chapel, which is crazy. Um, and now they're building another one up in uh, a place called Angeline, which is uh, technically in Lando Lakes. They're making it its own city, and they're going to build another lagoon up there with the mindset of bring the beach to the backyard because a lot of those areas are 30, 45, 50 minutes away from the beach. So they're trying to bring the beach to the backyard, and that's their mindset. But Pasco County has been one of the fastest growing counties in the Tampa Bay area. As a matter of fact, uh, it, at one point this year in 2022, it was ranked the fastest growing county in the country. So that just goes to tell you how much development is going on up there. And they are still planning on moving forward with the developments they're building. Could you try again? Series talking to us. The Angeline development that they're working on right now is is supposed to be beautiful. It's uh, anchored by the Moffitt uh, Cancer Research Center that they're doing there, which is, I think is like 700 acres. They want 3,300 acres of green space. They're putting in a farm where the community can actually go and get fruits and vegetables directly out of their own communal uh, farm there. It's pretty cool. And they're gonna put a lagoon in on top of it. So I think some of this stuff is really cool. It's worth focusing on. So if you are interested in new construction Construction, or you want more a suburban feel, you know, like you love neighborhoods, maybe you want a gated community, maybe you want that lagoon, then your eye is going to probably naturally, you know, veer towards Wesley Chapel, Lando Lakes, Lutz, Trinity, you know, these are the things that are happening in the areas up there. Now, as we come back south and, and move a little bit to the east, going up the I-4 corridor there, you're going to come up to Plant City. And Plant City is basically the farthest western, um, I'm sorry, eastern uh, edge of Hillsborough County. But as you can see, that's not really Tampa. It's about 22 miles from Plant City to downtown Tampa. So it's not crazy, but with traffic that can be anywhere from, you know, 40 minutes to an hour, you know, with I-4 traffic can get a little bit crazy there. But as we travel a little bit south here, and if we travel southwest along the bay right there, if you're seeing on the map, you know, you're going to hit Plant City, Brandon, Riverview. You got Lithia Fishhawk area over there, which is a great community, some of the highest rated schools. But as you can see, if you're looking at it on the map, that's not really close to downtown. Tampa and it's not close to the beaches either so keep that in mind if you're looking at if you want a beach lifestyle but there are newer homes
homes that are being developed in those areas. And again, they have high rated schools, so that's a very desirable area. Um, as you continue to travel south, you got Apollo Beach, you've got Ruskin, all the way down to Sun City Center, which is basically the, the bottom of Hillsborough County. And then that makes up Tampa, right? So you've got downtown Tampa, if we have to do a review, you've got South Tampa, um, which is, you know, again, where the, where, where the other half lives is the way that I put that. You've got, you know, North Tampa, um, you've got Pasco County to the north, uh, where you got Lando Lakes, Wesley Chapel, those areas. And then as we come back around, we've got Plant City, Brandon, Riverview, Apollo Beach, Ruskins, those areas there. And they all live differently, right? So like as, we, as we're talking about those areas, Brandon, Riverview, Apollo Beach, Ruskins, those areas are on the inside of the bay, right? So like when you're looking west, if you're facing west, you're going to see Tampa, the south, south end of Tampa, or you might see Pinellas County from there. And this is where Piney Point is. Um, you know, there's a, you know, definitely, there's no real beaches over here. So when you see that bay, you see that body of water, know that, um, you know, when you're living on this side of the bay, you don't have a local beach to go to. So this is way more of the suburbs. This is where people moved when they weren't trying to be in the city and they didn't care about the beaches. There's some beautiful communities over here. You've got, um, you know, great BMX bikes. Uh, I'm sorry, great BMX courses out there. You've got great hiking and trails out there. There's a cycle cross course out, you know, just uh, just east of uh, Lithia, which I, I know draws a lot of people annually. There's some camping out there. Lots of cool things to do outdoor, but this is definitely more of a suburban feel, just like it is up to the north. But a lot of these uh, communities were built, you know, in the 70s, 80s, and then in the 90s. So you're not going to see as much um, amenities in these areas as you will to those areas up to the north. Now let's talk about the beaches because, you know, and I've shared this before, but this is what brought our families down. Um, you know, we're beach babies. We, we love the sand. We love the sunset. We love the smell of the salt water in the Gulf. It's just something that we've, we fell in love with and have never let go. So when we moved down, we knew where we were moving. We knew that we wanted to be as close to the beach as we could possibly get within our, within our, within our means. Right. And, um, uh, you know, one thing I'll say is it's not cheap to live on the beach, you know, and we're not there yet. We got close, but we're not quite there. Our home's just a little, uh, short of two miles away. It's a, it's a good, run 1.93 miles from from door to, to toes in the sand which i absolutely am grateful for but we don't live on the beach y'all and maybe you can and that's great um but you know the thing i wanted to kind of share with you is we as we head across the bay right if we look at tampa and we cross over you know now we're in pinellas county and this is where the beaches are you know so when you hear clearwater beach or st pete beach which are typically ranked in the top three of all the beaches in america every year we are spoiled rotten and the dirty little secret that i want to share with with you guys that most people will not tell you is the fact that from Clearwater Beach all the way down, all the way down to St. Pete Beach, that beach is the same, right? And I know, I know the locals are going to vilify me and tell, tell me that it's not, the, I'm telling you right now, it's the same beach, right? Now here's what's different. When I say that, let me explain what, I'm, what I mean, okay? They are all on the Gulf of Mexico. They are all beautiful beaches. They all have white sugary sand and they all give you an absolute gorgeous sunset and they're very similar okay some of them are 30 or 40 yards wide some of them are 20 yards wide now the communities that they are attached to are the differences and that's where the locals would just have my behind but i just want you to know because a lot of the times you're like i want to live in clearwater beach and you've had the clearwater beach experience and that's awesome but you can have that for the next 20 miles south so i wanted to share that and give you some perspective because i know that most people don't share that. Now, in Pinellas County, Pinellas County goes from uh, at the north Tarpon Springs, which is pretty far north, all the way down to St. Pete Beach, actually, uh, Pasa uh, Grill uh, Beach and, and further on. There's some keys down there at the southern tip of Pinellas County um, that aren't accessible by road. You have to get them by boat, but they're there. Um, and there are so many cities in Pinellas County that live very similar to one another. Now there's definitely differences there, you know, there's there and people will give you their, their own opinion. Um, but what I want you to know is if you lived right in the middle of Pinellas County, let's just say you're in that Pinellas park area, um, you know, from there to the beach or from there to the bay, you know, you're going to be looking at about 20 to 25 minutes with traffic. Okay. Either way on a good day, you can get to either one of those spots in 15 minutes with traffic, which is awesome. 
And there you have access to so many different opportunities. And downtown St. Petersburg is at the southern tip um, of Pinellas County. It's on the, the, the bay side. So if you're you know looking at a map with me here, if you look at the, the southeast corner, right? So at the down, very bottom of that, that tip there, you know, you can see Tampa when you're standing on the pier, you know, the St. Pete Pier, which is a beautiful development. I've done a whole video on that too. Go ahead and check that out. We'll put it up top here or in the description below so you have access to it. But this city is alive and it's pretty cool. It's definitely, you know, a city that it has a vibe to it, right? Like there's art everywhere, which I really love. Um, the, the, the culinary experience is pretty darn good. Um, you know, there are lots of great restaurants. There are, you know, two or three main blocks that run from, um, and, and it's called Central Avenue actually, that goes from uh, St. Petersburg downtown, which is on the bay at the marina. And that will take you all the way back over to Madeira Beach if you followed it straight across the, the county there. But there's shopping and dining and restaurants for 30 blocks. And that is so that is so cool, y'all. And we have these different districts down there that, that all live different. They all act different. And it's just so much fun. And if you look at that southern tip of the peninsula there again, you know, you got St. Petersburg, which is towards the bay. And then on the beach side, on the west side, on the Gulf of Mexico, you've got St. Pete Beach. And those make up like a third of the entire county. And then as you head north there, you get in the, the next bigger city is going to be Largo, Clearwater area there. Uh, Clearwater again is another large city it takes up a probably you know again I'm giving generalizations but if you had to look at it on the map I mean it's gonna take up another third of the county and then above that you've got Palm Harbor um, you know Safety Harbor those areas too and uh, Dunedin which is a beautiful area I've, I've done videos on that one of our favorite spots to go visit but what I wanted to do today was you know just to help you demystify you know what is Tampa what is Tampa Bay what does that mean you know what I mean because there's so many different ways you can go it's like when people say hey I want to move to Tampa is it Tampa downtown is it South Tampa is it North Tampa are you looking at the suburbs are, are you really talking about living towards Lakeland because that's not Tampa that's more of a uh, Orlando and Orlando doesn't claim Lakeland so it's its own thing <laughs> right but I wanted to share this with you guys hopefully that you get value um, and hey if you did if you got any questions put them in the comment below I'm here to an answer any of those questions let me know where you're watching from I love knowing where my viewers are watching from as well and if you've got any questions regarding you know investing buying selling or or, or relocating to Tampa Bay area don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team all of my contact information is listed down below including my calendar link where you can schedule a time that works best for you. If you got any value out of this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell. And we're gonna keep bringing videos just like this and you'll get notified every time we drop a new one. And with that, I wanna leave you and I wanna say thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope this helped. Let me know if you did in the comments down below. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.